Chapter three. Why is I here? Why is I here? Yeah, it's really important to say that we don't know. Mm -hmm. And yet at the same time, we know that we exist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we know that because we're here. I'm in front of a microphone. I'm next to you. I have my fingers and my toes. And that's all that really matters. You know, I, again, like you said, it's really important to say that we don't know. Yes. So we're not looked at as the all-knowing. Yes. So when you always have a question, you think of Sky and Atlas. No. No. You want to think of you. You. <laughs> you want to start investigating you. And obviously, if you need a little help or, you know, a little assistance, this is what the course is for. Exactly. So we're, we're, not, we're not trying to not lend assistance, but we know that true evolution happens from within. Yes. So, nice. Yeah. Love that. Mm-hmm. And so then um, piggybacking on true evolution comes from within. Mm -hmm. The answer of I don't know is actually liberating because you know that you exist. You know that you are, which is so evident just via direct experience right, right now is am mm -hmm. i exist i feel existence mm -hmm. i am existence yeah right and so from there then you can liberate anything else of well as we say why is it here i don't know we don't know but we exist and we don't need to then ask other people yeah. about why I is here. Yeah. So I don't need to outsource my sovereignty or my will. Mm. I don't need to outsource it to get someone else to tell me why I is here. Yes. So that's, that, so yeah, that's. that's and, and that's also just the fun part. I feel like just being able to investigate life, like, you know, how they, <clears throat> you know what they say that, you know, kids are the most enlightened you know they're closest to god because the way they act their demeanor they, they always want to find out they want to understand and as adults we're boring we're, we've lost that will to want to understand more and we just trust google we trust siri or, or whatever and um yeah this is again this book is to bring you back to being a child that's why it is an adult's children's book yes yeah so yes yes yeah. and that's why so many of the greats and even some of the most genius people that have ever lived mm -hmm. have always talked about retaining their childlike curiosity. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And so basically the child is the detective. The child yeah. is the investigator. Yeah. And the adult can sometimes be, uh, oh, I'm done investigating. Yeah, I'm good. I, I know. Good. To, I know. I work my job. I, I have my, my, <laughs> my concepts, my ideas, yeah. my framework, my lens of perception mm -hmm. has become ossified. It's become solidified. Mm. And so now I'm, quote, done looking for new ways of perceiving. Mm -hmm. And that is, you could say, your death. If wow. you're, yeah. If you're done looking for new ways of perceiving, if you're done investigating, mm -hmm. you've died. You've died. So investigate like a child. Investigate. Like this is our creation. And investigate, my man, my lady, investigate. Um, there's nothing more important like we wrote. There's nothing more important. Mm -hmm. And and then the the second core part of this chapter that we wanted to get across was what changes when we see ourselves as I rather than John. And I would just say everything. You, 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 your reality is more vast now. There, there's more questions that needs answers. That means that your mundane life comes a little more mundane. You know, now it's time to get out here and understand what the hell. Let's, let's get answers to these questions. We want solutions to the, 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 the quarrels of the world, but we don't gain solutions to the small things in our lives. So... Yeah. <laughs> How can we ever understand what's out there if we don't understand what's in here? Yeah. Yes. And this question is also meant to be a, a leading thread mm -hmm. for you to follow. Absolutely. You follow this thread of what changes 
when I see myself as I mm-hmm. rather than only my name. Yeah. So if you can first feel yourself as I and see yourself in all as I mm-hmm. and then and then be loving about your unique label mm-hmm. at the same time. Simultaneously. Simultaneously. Mm-hmm. What will change versus if you only knew yourself as your label and thought of everyone else as just their own separate labels? Yeah, it's like you're living a half-life. Yes, yes. Perfect. It's like you're living a half-life. So, so have a whole life by knowing yourself as I and then just watch what would change when you see everything as I. And so we'll leave it at that and we'll unpack it more yep. later. There we go. Beauty. End of chapter three.